Well, I don't know what was happening there, but there are some kids on dirt bikes. It's going down the bloody footpath. Jeez, all right. I'm guessing everyone saw that. <laughs> Other way around again. Anyway, unfazed here. Just thought I'd make another video talking about, um, I don't know, some backstory about me and why I'm going to start motor vlogging. So, I'm currently a student. Go to university here in Perth. Yes, yeah, been riding for about three years. Uh, I bought the SZ6R because it was a good price. And um, yeah, I've heard some good reviews about it. It's a beautiful day today. There was actually a uh, crash this morning on the freeway, on the Mitchell Free, oh, the Quinana Freeway in Perth. And a um, rider actually passed away uh, after getting hit. We well, actually might go past it, so I'll let you know if I spot anything. It's on the other side of the road, but yeah, I went past it this morning about 10 minutes after I passed it. Another bike came past and got hit. It wasn't his fault or anything. He just, um, yeah, wrong place, wrong time, but could have easily been me. I actually went into uni early today because I had a test, but 10 minutes later, I would have, could have easily been me. It makes you really think how safe it is on the roads. Anyway, that was pretty fucking crazy with those kids. I don't know what they were thinking. They just, oh. Where are the parents, I guess, so. Eh? Pretty good way to start a vlog, I'd say. Some random kids on dirt bikes going around the roads. Who else can say they started a vlog with that in my second vlog as well. Yeah, just going onto the freeway now. We might pass the area where the crash was, which, you know, yeah, it really makes you realise how unsafe it is to be on the roads. But as long as you're wearing as safety, much safety gear as you can, it might be at least a little bit safer. But you just never know when you're going to get hit. I mean, this wasn't the guy's fault. I think a car pulled out into the um, emergency lane which is only like half the car, so it's still half in the lane. And um, yeah, it just stopped. And a police car came up from, this is from what I heard, I'm not 100% sure, but I think a police came, car, car came up and um, went to talk to him while he stopped. Then a, um, another car wasn't paying attention, I guess, hit one of those cars and then went into the motorbike, causing the man's death. I mean, there was nothing that the motorbike rider could do, the cyclist. Nothing you could do to stop it. I mean, even if you have a lot of experience, you're not going to stand much of a chance if you get taken out without, you know, any warning. I mean, this guy was just going to, I'm guessing, work or uni or something like that. And yeah, just gone, vanished. So yeah, I just thought I'd talk about the um, channel. So I'm going to pretty much just doing motor vlogs around Perth. It's going to be a hobby. Um, hopefully Mitya should get a road trail so I can do some videos on that as well but nothing too major I don't want to wreck my camera or any of my gear so I'll be taking it pretty easy on that but I mean who doesn't like a road trail something different a bit loud so my motor vlogging channel I'm going to try and get out about maybe two vlogs a week as many as I can but I mean the I've got a break coming up so I should be able to get out a few just to, you know start off the channel let some people know what the what sort of vlogs I'm going to be doing yeah, it should be fun. Hopefully I'll build a subscription base. I can um, interact with a few of you. Any of you in Perth want to go for a ride, just let me know. Love to go for a ride. I should be going on some rides. I'm in some um, motorcycle clubs, so we normally go on rides, so that should be fun. I think they've already cleaned up the crash, so we missed out on that. Not missed out, I don't know. You didn't see it. But yeah, just let me know if you want to go for a ride sometime. Go out for a ride. In Perth City, their city. Still stuck behind this bloody truck. They should not be allowed in the right lane. Jeez, it's a good bridge. You get a pretty good snapshot of what Perth is. I mean, it doesn't actually look that big. Eastern states are much bigger. That's, I've never traveled out of Australia, so I can't really compare it to anything else. I've been to Sydney and Melbourne, but I mean, Sydney is huge. Melbourne, awesome place. But yeah. You know, I'm wondering what Perth is like. Pretty good view from here. 
man i cannot get over those kids and dirt bikes that was so crazy i mean even one of them the bigger one had two people on it just riding around the bloody streets i don't know if you can see on the video but actually cut around behind where you got the curb is came around that came in through around in front of me jeez they just went all the way down that bloody sidewalk so dangerous but you actually see quite a few of them around there there's a lot of motorbike stealing dirt bike stealing around that area my father actually has um two motorbikes as well that i'll give it a ride and do a um, review on one's the 250 hags cruiser that's yeah, it's a horrible bike but i thought i might as well do a little review on it and just show people what not to get i guess they're pretty cheap i think they're about three grand brand new but really in my my mind it's not worth it i stuck to that for a good like two years probably a, i'm surprised i didn't get out of motorbikes because of it because it is a horrible bike it is just so bad but um the other one yeah he's got a high sung 250 so i'm gonna give that a shot give it a review it's a bit more mine's more of a touring sitting position that one's more of a sports. I mean, a lot of people have hire songs. I don't know about other places, but in Perth, there's quite a lot of 250 hire songs or 650s now as well, since they're lambs. And also got, I might do a review of the 250 Repsol, CBR 250 Repsol. Got a mate that's got them, one of them, and um, yeah, they're good fun. Different, single cylinder. Don't know what to think, but yeah. So if you guys are keen for some motorcycle madness and uh, I'm going to do some product reviews on the Ghost Drift S, the Cena 10, SMH 10, uh, HJC helmets but you know not the best helmets I don't know whether I'll review that yet anytime soon. I kind of want a new helmet but I mean this is doing me fine. But yeah all that be sure to click subscribe and yeah I'll keep you informed with all these Cool ass videos. Should be good fun. Get a community going. I also may be going on a camping trip soon, so I might be able to take some videos of that trip, depending if I take the motorbike, which of course I want to. But just need to carry all the gear, I guess, so that might be the fun. But that's probably going down south. So some country roads, which I guess are pretty boring, but I don't know. I guess I can make it a bit, a bit more interesting, muck around a bit nothing illegal just you know having a bit more fun on a motorbike motorcycle big long country trips gotta love them the pain deal with the pain the pain normally takes about an hour and a half to two hours to get down south just down one damn boring road damn boring road good views good wineries and breweries down there gotta go visit them but overall, it is just one big, long, boring road for an hour and a half to two hours. Should be a good trip, but who doesn't like going down into the country? But yeah, I guess that's about all I got to cover in this uh, video. Just thought I'd give a um, quick background about the channel, what I'm hoping to do, and all that. Be sure to click subscribe if you like the sound of any of that sort of stuff. I'll try and get the product reviews done sort of in between the motor vlogs. So let you guys know, know what's happening in Perth. And yeah. See where it goes from there, I guess. Anyway, catch you all next time. Have a good one.